from the whale's blowhole like a supersonic jet. And below me, the ocean became a sheltered bay studded with white shapes. You will be amazed as my epic journey unfolds. For here, it was about to take a most unexpected turn. And it happened like this. Beautiful but deadly wasteland. A freezing cold, brutally chilly, enough to kill a man in hours. Yet here you are. Indeed, General. An impoverished childhood playing in the streets of Omsk during those bitter winters had made me hardy. I thought you said you grew up in Altai. Ah, General, the life of a poor toy maker's family. We had to move from place to place just to find work.
Sonikov learned, eh? Of course, Sonikov himself reported nothing more than a bluish fog on the horizon. Your island may be nothing more than the product of overactive imaginations. General, consider this. Imagine taking a simple peasant, a pig chef, for example, and telling him one day humans would fly around the earth beyond the sky. He would say you were stark raving mad, sell the phone, a ridiculous Kazyol Baradati, a buffoon stuffed into a military uniform, a Pridurak, a Chuchila Tuparile. This peasant of yours had better watch his mouth. If he doesn't want to spend his holidays in Salavietsky, perhaps you should return to your store. There, in the cliff. I could not believe it! A hairy elephant, trapped and frozen in the ice! A mammoth? No, General, a hairy elephant. Who would think such a thing could be? Onwards, through the blizzard, one foot grimly in front of the other, blinded by the snow, my nose becoming quite blue. My thoughts of home crushed under the weight of the plummeting temperature. I am bored, Ivan Ivanovich, and sick to my teeth of listening to this rubbish. Let us speak plainly. You will tell me where my bomb is, or I will have you shot. I am just getting to that, General. Shot! Comrade Primark! Shot with real bullets. Fired from a real gun, not some ludicrous bulltavia about uh, lost cities and dinosaurs and mink and mammoth. That was a hairy elf. No! I will not tolerate any more! Where is the bomb, Ivan Ivanovich? Where is little Orpheus? It was right there. What? It was there. At least, I realized it must be. Where? Here? On Sonic Land? Yes, General. Because as the storm began to clear, I realized with a strange excitement and trepidation that I was not alone on Sonic Land.
Wait, 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 wait. Go back. You say these lifeboats came from Zarya. A Russian ship? Zarya returned home, but not with all of her crew. And here were the missing lifeboats, trapped in the ice for all of these years. And it could only mean one thing. That you are continuing to hang Lapsha on my ears. Baron Edward von Thor. Of course, I remember reading about this tragic expedition at school. We were taught he had died a hero's death out on the icy wastes, searching for Sanikovland. Yet, what if, what if, in doing so, he had sailed accidentally into the interior, deep below the crust of the world? A fellow citizen of the surface. I had to try and find him. Huh. 